Hello and welcome you all in my video tutorial. This video is for class 9 chapter 2nd input and output units. Now as we already discussed in previous chapter that how a computer works in three different stages that is input process and output. It accepts input process the data according to the set of instructions then store it and give some meaningful output. Thus, a computer system has four main components input unit, central processing unit, output unit and secondary storage unit. Now in this chapter we are going to discuss the functional overview of input, output and storage unit of a computer system. Now the first unit which we are going to start as input unit. As you all know dear student, input unit refers to the data or instruction which we feed into a computer. Input devices are used to enter data and information into a computer. The input unit converts the incoming data and instruction into a pattern of binary code which is understood by a computer. It means whenever we supply data or instruction to our computer, first it converts in binary code. After that it supplies the converted data to the processor for processing. For example, if you press any key from keyboard, like suppose you press capital letter A, then all the keys having a decimal value, that decimal value convert in binary code, after that it supply to the processor for processing. Then only your computer understood, user press capital letter A. Next we will discuss about the input devices. So we are having so many input devices, the first one is keyboard. As you all know, keyboard is one of the most important input device used to input data and instruction into a computer. If you observe keyboard carefully then you might have noticed there are mainly five type of types of keys present on a keyboard. The first one is typing key. These key includes letter, numbers, punctuation, special symbol, etc. These keys also include shift, caps lock, space bar, backspace and tab keys. Next key that we have is control key. These keys are either used alone or in combination with other keys to perform an action like control, ALT, window logo key and the escape key are various example of control keys. Next key that we have is navigation key. They are used to perform specific tasks. They are placed on the top row of the keyboard and are labeled as F1, F2, F3, F4, likewise till F12. These keys have different function in different programs. Next key that we have is function key. Dear student, as you all know, function key are used for moving through documents or web pages and sometimes for editing the text. These key include arrow key, home, and page up, page down, delete, and insert key. Next key that we have is numeric keypad. Numeric keypad consists of number key from 0 to 9. The arithmetic operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, as well as decimal point. It placed on the right side of the keyboard and is used for entering number at faster pace. Next input device that we have is mouse. Mouse is the most commonly used input and pointing device that lets you select and move items on a screen. 
if we talk about type of mouse then there are total three types of mouse mechanical mouse opto mechanical and optical mouse mechanical mouse this type of mouse has a metal or rubber ball on its lower side that can roll in all the direction the screen pointer moves according to the movement of the ball which is detected by the mechanical sensor with the within the mouse so we can find the movement of a mouse by rolling that rubber ball in all the direction next we have is opto mechanical mouse this type of mouse used in mechanism similar to mechanical mouse the only difference is that it uses optical sensor in place of rubber ball to detect the movement of the ball next is optical mouse an optical mouse does not have any mechanical moving parts the laser technology is used to detect the movement of the mouse it is more efficient and expensive than mechanical and opto mechanical mouse and nowadays we are using optical mouse next input device that we have is scanner it is an input device that scan text images and objects optically the scanned data is then converted in a digital image and display on a computer system digital image means the data converted into binary codes then after it display on the screen if we discuss the types of scanners so there are three types of scanners that we have is first one drum scanner flat bed scanner and handheld scanner next input device that we have is ocr stand for optical character reader it is used to read character from printed paper into a computer the shape of the characters is recognized by ocr through a light source in conjunction with photoelectric cells when a text page is scanned it is converted into a computer readable form and reproduced in a form that looks similar to a page that has been typed it means after scanning it convert into binary or computer understandable form next input device that we have is omr optical mark reader omr is a device for capturing data formed by dark and light mark on a specific position of the paper it is a special device that can detect mark made with ink or pencil omr requires a special printer printed paper that contain boxes and circle for study nowadays in various entrance examination for making sorry for marking objective type question the answer sheet are inserted into omr for calculating the scores it has a great speed and the marking is error free next input device that we have is micr magnetic ink character reader micr primarily used by banking industry to facilitate the processing of checks this technology allow computer to read information 
from the printed document MICR characters are printed in a special typeface with a magnetic ink or toner usually containing iron oxide next input device that we have is barcode reader it is an input device used for reading barcode present on various product a barcode is a combination of dark and light strip it is a computer readable representation of information present in visual format it is very useful device for billing and inventory application next input device that we have is joystick a joystick is an input device which allow the user to move an object on the screen it is normally used in gaming center for playing games next input device is microphone it is an input device used to record and store voice or any other sound into a computer generally as a dot wave file it also support for recording narration in a powerpoint presentation and dear student right now i am using microphone to record my voice along with my presentation next is digital camera a digital camera is a quite similar to traditional camera that take both video and still photography for the fact that digital image can be used so we can say that digital camera is also a type of input device next unit that we are going to discuss is output unit the output unit is used for displaying or printing the process data in a user readable format a computer can have several output device devices attached to it now we are going to discuss some of the common output devices the first one is monitor monitor is the most common output device it is also called visual display unit vdu an electronic visual display for a computer just like a telephone sorry just like a television a monitor also display the output on the screen the picture on a monitor is made of thousands of small colored dots called pixels dear student if you observe your screen carefully then you might have noticed so many color dots are there that color dots are known as pixel if we discuss about types of monitor then we are having total three types of monitor crt cathode ray tube lcd liquid crystal display or tft monitors thin film transistor last we have is light emitting diode led so monitor having total three types next output device that we have is printer a printer is a peripheral device used for printing the outputs on a paper or any other printable media the printed information on a paper is also called hard copy printers are classified in two different types first one is impact printer second one is non impact printer if we discuss impact printer impact printers allow physical contact between the printer head and paper they are also called character printers and the impact printer further classified in two different parts first one is 
डेजी व्हील प्रिंटर एंड सेकेंड वन इज डॉट मैट्रिक्स प्रिंटर डेजी व्हील प्रिंटर हैव गुड लेटर फॉर्मेशन कैपेबिलिटी बट कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस ग्राफिक्स दे प्रोड्यूस लेटर क्वालिटी डॉक्यूमेंट्स ओनली एंड द स्पीड ऑफ दीज प्रिंटर्स वेरीज फ्रॉम सिक्सटी टू वन ट्वेंटी कैरेक्टर पर सेकेंड नेक्स्ट वी डिस्कस डॉट मैट्रिक्स प्रिंटर दीज आर वनली इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर इन यूज नाउ डेज एंड कैन बी सीन रियली रेयरली इन ऑफिस फैक्ट्रीज और स्कूल दे आर नॉइजी एंड डू नॉट हैव गुड प्रिंटिंग क्वालिटी डेयर स्टूडेंट माइट यू हैव नोटिस वेन एवर यू गो फॉर रेलवे टिकट बुकिंग तो दे आर दे आर यूजिंग डॉट मैट्रिक्स प्रिंटर टू जनरेट द टिकट नेक्स्ट वी हैव नॉन इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर नॉन इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर डू नॉट अलाउ फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन द प्रिंटिंग हैड एंड पेपर दैट इज दे डू नॉट स्ट्राइक अगेंस्ट द इंक रिबन और द पेपर विच इज बींग प्रिंटेड इफ वी डिस्कस द टाइप ऑफ नॉन इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर तो नॉन इम्पैक्ट प्रिंटर्स फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन सम पार्ट फर्स्ट वन इज थर्मल प्रिंटर नेक्स्ट इज इंक जेट प्रिंटर एंड लास्ट इज थ्री डी प्रिंटर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज स्टोरेज यूनिट और स्टोरेज डिवाइस it is most common storage device for storing the large amount of data it is also called hd or hdd hard disk drive or we call it winchester disk also it was introduced in 1954 by an ibm team led by ray johnson if we talk about the various kind of storage devices the first one is hard disk hard disk generally we use to store data in our computer hard disk is made up of collection of disk known as platter each platter requires two head drive read write head one for each side all the read write head are attached to a single access arm so that they do not move independently each platter has the sum number of tracks to store data a track to location that cuts across all platters is called cylinder next storage device that we have is cd rom stands for compact disk read only memory read only memory means you cannot change the pre recorded information stored on the disk it is a type of optical disk capable of storing a large amount of data information software etc nowadays most of the softwares like audio video graphics and multimedia presentation are found on cds the data from the cd can be accessed using cd driver the storage capacity varies from 650 MB to 900 MB. The speed of CD-ROM drive is called data transfer rate, and it measures in kilobyte per second. Next storage device we have is DVD. 
डिजिटल वर्सटाइल डिस्क डीवीडी हैज बिकम वेरी पावरफुल डेटा स्टोरेज डिवाइस इनिशियली इट वॉज कॉल्ड डिजिटल वीडियो डिस्क which was later changed to digital versatile disc dvd disc are optical disc with much larger storage capacity as compared to that compared to cd drive or sorry cd rom dvd can store high quality video audio and other kind of digital information a dvd can store Six times more than a CD-ROM. A DVD can hold 4.7 GB to 17 GB of data. Like a CD-ROM, a DVD is also available in many versions, such as DVD-R, DVD-RW, DVD-R, and DVD-RW both. at last we are having memory stick also for storing data permanently apart from this we have pen drive thumb drive memory stick floppy disk and many more devices are there through which we can store data permanently so this is all about the details of all the input output and storage devices hope you all will understood dear student if you have any doubt please inform or write that doubt inside comment comment section thank you